All right, guys, bench hops. Here we go. One of my favorite cardiovascular and surprisingly core workouts. Okay, so we're going to grab the bench firmly with both hands, right? Have room to go over the bench with your feet. Okay, if it's too difficult to go over the bench, you can step back and use what would be an imaginary lower level or lower height bench. But you're gonna go over with both feet, right? Double tap if you want as a modified version, but an advanced version, a better version, is without a double bounce. So over and back, over and back, over and back. The closer your body is to the bench, the better. The more angle it is, the easier. So keep it nice and tight, close to the bench as you jump. Over and back, over and back. Try to do it without stopping, guys. Three, two, one, good job. Alright guys, good old fashioned push-ups, here we go. Maybe the best exercise for overall chest and even shoulder development, okay? Very simply put. Alright guys, Superman's, here we go. So Superman's are a great way to work your lower back. We need to do more lower back work to keep our lower back strong to prevent serious injury later. So having your body on the ground facing down flat like your superhero, like Superman, you want your lower body and upper body to raise at the same time, like you're flying. So you're both, both your hands and both your feet should come off the ground at the same time at the same pace and together, right? Lowering at the same time at the same pace together. Come up slowly, don't jerk the movement. Nice and smooth with, with little, little jerky motion, keeping that lower back safe. Up and then down, up and then down, two, one. All right, guys, bench hops. Here we go. One of my favorite cardiovascular and surprisingly core workouts. Okay, so we're going to grab the bench firmly with both hands, right? Have room to go over the bench with your feet. Okay, if it's too difficult to go over the bench, you can step back and use what would be an imaginary lower level or lower height bench. But you're gonna go over with both feet, right? Double tap if you want as a modified version, but an advanced version, a better version, is without a double bounce. So over and back, over and back, over and back. The closer your body is to the bench, the better. The more angle it is, the easier. So keep it nice and tight, close to the bench as you jump, over and back over and back. Try to do it without stopping, guys. Three, two, one, good job. All right, guys, good old fashioned push-ups. Here we go. Maybe the best exercise for overall chest and even shoulder development, okay? Very simply put. All right, guys, Superman's, here we go. So Superman's are a great way to work your lower back. We need to do more lower back work to keep our lower back strong to prevent serious injury later. So having your body on the ground facing down flat like your superhero, like Superman, you want your lower body and upper body to raise at the same time like you're flying. So you're both, both your hands and both your feet should come off the ground at the same time at the same pace and together, right? Lowering at the same time at the same pace together. Come up slow don't jerk the movement nice and smooth with with little little jerky motion keeping that lower back safe up and then down up and then down two one All right, guys, reverse lunges. So these can be done, again, body weight is fine. I do these prisoner styles typically to add a little core work to it, have my hands nice and high behind my head. You step back slowly, right, keeping, again, keeping that front knee behind the front toes. Keep the knees safe, all right? Step back slowly, the back leg, the back knee can come close to the ground, but don't bang your knee to the ground. On these, we're gonna change legs each time. So alternating reverse lunges. If you prefer or want to do an advanced version, you can add weight to it. A lighter than squat weight, right, heavier than a single lunge weight. Keep it in front of your body, right, below your chin, nice and high, and do the same motion. Step back slowly, drive through the heels coming up.
All right, guys, bench dips. Here we go. On a bench dip, you can use any chair or bench or countertop or table, coffee table, anything that you can apply your hand to without pain and, and safely go down and up without the object moving, okay? The idea here is to work the tricep, obviously. Keep your body close to the bench or chair. Minimize the delta or distance between your body and the bench. This puts your arm at the right angle, a nice 90 degree angle at the bottom of the movement with the upper arm being parallel to the floor, the butt close to the ground. You wanna come down slow, drive up and flex the tricep at the very top of the movement. Three, two, one. All right guys, running man's a great way to get those glutes working, right? It's a cardio move because you're moving non-stop, right? It's a lunge, but you jump into the lunge, all right? When you land, I want the front heel to land first. Keep the knees safe, keep the lower back safe. Each time you land, that, that back leg comes down close to the ground, touching the ground if you want, but don't bang the ground, right? The opposite arm goes forward. So when the right leg goes forward, the left arm goes forward. When to jump into it, ideally you want both feet to land at the same time, all right? So the right foot and the left foot should land simultaneously. Dip down deep each time, alternate, good, boom. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, get down deep in three, and two, and one. 